Okay, so I... No, no, that ain't right. What the fuck? What is this? What is this? Oh. Come in. Ah, Tinker, how are you? I need a word with you. Oh, okay. What do you want? I want nothing from you. Really? Perfect, then maybe you can help me, because my kettle's been playing up ever since we landed, and what I need... Oh, that makes more sense. ...is for you to get that sorry excuse for a doctor off my ship. <laughs> off your ship? Indeed. His antics have persisted long enough. Have you seen the man? Listen, I'm sure you have your reasons, but from where I'm standing, Hawkeye seems completely fine. In fact, I I'd go as far as to say he's a high-value member of the team here. Oh, well, of course you would think so. You're more or less best friends. You are so chummy with your buddy. Your brother-in-arms practically joined at the hip. So allow me to present to you a full list of undoubtable evidence that that man can and will be the death of us all. <sighs> Number one. Fuck me. Exactly one month and three days ago, Mr. Pierce failed his psychiatric evaluation due to the fact he spent the entire time flirting with the psychiatrist. That's not true. He did pass. And the flirting actually helped him. It showed that he was still in a stable frame of mind. Plus, you know, there was more to it than that, obviously. I mean, as unprofessional as it was, yeah, there, there was a lot more. They actually talked, you know. So those claims hold no water. Fine. Then how about thievery? Okay, now you listen here. Four weeks and five days ago, Mr. Pierce was seen stealing vital materials from my lab. Would you agree that happened? Listen, I don't know how many times I have to tell you this, okay? Scrap metal is not a vital material. Plus, unlike you, he was planning on making good use out of that. A distillery has no place on this vessel, and you know it. Ah, uh, you see, it's shit like that that makes me so happy that I'm sat here and you're stood there. Because I swear to God, if you were in charge, it would not surprise me one fucking bit if you just took out the bar. And speaking of his innate thirst, incident number three, which took place four weeks and two days ago, Mr. Pierce was seen starting a bar fight with one Miss Jane Kelly. <sighs> he was drunk, rolled a nat one on charisma, and she threw him out. So you agree he started the altercation. Thank you. Moving on. Number four. Three weeks ago exactly, Mr. Pierce was seen drunkenly parading around this ship, setting a terrible standard for this crew's hierarchy to every man and woman who witnessed it. Three we- Oh, yeah, 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 that. <laughs> yeah, I remember. I remember now, that was fun. He broke into my lab. You left the keys in an easy-to-reach spot. He taught my AI program to sing songs from Fiddler on the Roof. How does he even know that musical? It's past his time. Oh yeah, you, you weren't there for that. We had a movie night, and we were watching Fiddler on the Roof. It was a, it was a blast, actually. Tell you what, we'll be starting the Sam Raimi Spider-Man trilogy next. You should join in. Should be right up your street. When this war ends, I might just think about it. Number five, and this one is the worst. He is spreading his bad influence on to others. Just last week he was caught by Tigan fooling around in the x-ray machine with Miss Kelly. They almost broke very crucial medical technology. Tell me. What do you have to say to that? Eh, lucky Hawkeye. Duh. And then, that brings us back around to today. The final straw in the camel's back, I'm afraid. That beast, that, that 
troglodyte has jammed up our drone's guns. Well, that's certainly clever. Look! Ah, I see. Do you now? Great. And I'm sure you agree it is in our best interest that we get rid of this glorified saboteur before he crashes this ship into the Alps. How's Comet doing? Excuse me. Because whenever I speak to him, or to anyone else about him, all I ever hear is how good a job he's doing of his patients. Hell, I hear that thanks to him, Comet might make recovery soon. So, before you start making your big threats with your big words, why don't you instead go verify your information first, hmm? Now, if you don't want to help me fix this kettle, then I suggest you go the same way you came in and have a nice day, okay? All right, he's coming along nicely. I'll stay for another hour or two, see if there's anything else he needs, then I'll head out, okay? Huh. Wasn't expecting to see you here. Just here to check on Comet. Oh, that's fine. Take a seat. You two, uh... Must have been pretty close before I got it, then, uh... It's just, you know, I... You don't strike me as the type who would do this for a, a, a lot of other people, is all. Eh, we worked together a bit in the past, not much. He helped me test out a new type of steroid that could physically make your skin tougher. The hope being it would eventually lead to bulletproof soldiers, but it never really... <laughs> hmm. You know, I went out to see the results of my experiments with him personally. It was my first time on the battlefield. I uh, stuck close to him. You think that I'm some kind of beast? <laughs> no. He is the real monster here. He must have killed at least a dozen of them on that mission alone. Were you scared? The strong don't feel fear. Nah, that, that, that's more of a right reserved for smart people. <laughs> so, anyway, how, how, how did he actually get here? Um, that was quite the show. It was a couple of weeks before Lead Pen picked you up. A refugee camp showed up on our radar. Comet said he knew the woman running the place, requested time off to go see her. Yamchat said yes. He only must have been there a day, and then... And then? Chaos. They struck without warning, without hesitation. He did his best, but ultimately, you know... You can't save them all. Some armies were just never meant to fall, or even just an army of... By the time we found him, he was almost dead. Near 48 hours of surgery later, and, well, still touch and go. He's been touch and go for months, at least. At least until now. Well... Uh, maybe we should, um, give him some rest. Sure. <laughs> Why not? Oh, and Mr. Pierce. I must say, while your methods are brutally outdated, I appreciate they let someone with even minimal but true understanding of the medical profession look after him.
shit. 